Okay, I got one thread here working. I don't know how you guys call this, but I, well, I call it threads or tank wheels. That one's fixed. And then this other side is not fixed. As you can see, it just came out. So, even if I put it back in place, <laughs> like that, if I turn it on, it just comes out. So that's why I made this rail. Cutting this fourteen. What was the size? Okay, a quarter by thirty six wood square into little pieces. Sixty four of them and separate them around one and a half. So whenever it, it it goes inside there, they will be able to turn and cut a little angle on each of one of them. So it will go inside this wire thread thing. One like this. See, that's what I'm using for the wheels. It's just mechanics wire. 16 gauge, 2 pounds. That's why I'm using for wheels. And in the rear and back, I'm using this kind for electrical wire. Attach to the screwdriver, I mean, drills. Using two relays and a remote controller with some other relays to control the big relays out of this little bitty remote controller. Now the remote controller came from a car like this. It's five dollar in Walmart. Okay. That's why I got these little cars. That's what I need. And the wires that control the motors, instead of controlling motors, they control mini 5 volt relays from Ready Shack. And I use diodes to control each one of them individually. I hope I said it right. Now that this is the remote control I'm going to use in the future. Okay, because it comes to this car right here. Now, what's uh, special about this? Turn it on. Besides that, it changes colors and tires. It's got the same functions: forward, reverse, left and right. But it's got a special feature. It's got this button. That turns a third motor inside. Oh, I gotta turn it on. To make it jump up and down. And turn it off, turn it on, and turn it off. Now, what that's gonna do, that's gonna connect another relay in this thing to make it go faster. Right now, I'm using uh, 3.4 volts to run the motors out of the drill's batteries. And what I'm going to use for turbo is the full 7.2 volts from the drills to make it go super, super fast.
and almost pop a wheelie when I make the first test. Right now, just for testing purposes, I'm using a little RC controller, like. That. Okay, that's a little description of my platform. I cannot call it robot or anything. It's just a platform right now. It's made out of a vacuum cleaner. It's just a single vacuum cleaner. And it's going to turn into a, like I said, into a platform for the robot. Now, here I have the front. It's gonna, I'm gonna put lights in it, and then I'm gonna use this flashlight for the front light. I got a lot of things to do, still working on it, but uh, this is just a testing video. Thank you, everyone. See you next time. It's one in yes, it's one in the morning, so I better go go to bed. So see you in the next video. I'm really tired. Bye.